Hey what's up everyone, my name is Andrew and in this video we have one older laptop, the Acer Travelmate 2300. This laptop is released in 2005, which is about 15 years old. I got this laptop in a Verge Cosmetic condition but with a few non-working parts, like half of the keyboard is not working, which means I need to replace the entire keyboard and the hard disk is locked and damage it. But also, I got this laptop with a very low specs. The CPU is Intel Celeron, running at 1.3 GHz and the RAM is 256 MB only. Well, let's start and back our mate in a function again. Well, first I will start with a full teardown. I will separate all parts because we're going to cross over the cleaning process make some mods and make some upgrades. Well and this is it. And now we have a bunch of parts that first needs to be cleaned. And first I will start by cleaning the display. First using a soft cleaning cloth I start with removing the major dust and dirt. And then I move on removing the old adhesive tape from the both sides of the display. Now, after I removed the tape, I moved on the display. To clean the display, I used a 96% isopropyl alcohol, anti-static glass cleaner, few soft cleaning clothes and two brushes. One is a normal brush and the other is a soft makeup brush. And as always, I must say a warning. If you're going to clean some display, be very careful. Do not press the display heavy and do not let any kind of liquid enter to the inside of the display, because that may easily damage the entire display. Well, after cleaning, the display is looking much better. It's almost like a brand new. Now we can move to the other components and I will start with the motherboard. From the motherboard I will remove the cooling fan and the heatsink and then I will remove the CPU. Well, to clean the motherboard as always I will use a brush. But also notice that there is a small omelet of rust around some components. The rust I will remove using cotton buds and 96% isopropyl alcohol. Also this is usual when some laptop is used in a place with high humidity. But in this case it's nothing too serious. Now 
Now, when the motherboard is clean, let's move to the heatsink and the cooling fan. The cooling fan is full of dust, but also it's spinning hard, it's not going smooth as it needs to be. So first, I will separate the cooling fan blades and then I will do basic cleaning from the dust. Well, because this laptop was used in high humidity conditions, the dust is sticked and the only way to remove the dust is to wash the heatsink and the fan blades. So that's exactly what I did. After I wash the heatsink and the fan blades, everything is looking much better. Now, I will use a machine or engine oil to lubricate the cooling fan. And now the cooling fan it will work totally smooth and without any noise. Also, you can use this way to fix cooling fans that are stuck from dust. I mean stiff cooling fans or high noise cooling fans. This actually works on both laptops or desktop computers. Well, after I finish with a cooling fan and a heatsink, I continue with cleaning all other smaller components, from dust and dirt. And I make everything shines again. Now, after I finish with cleaning the components from the inside, I move on cleaning the case. To clean the case, I use the brush. But the parts that are without electronics, I wash it using a soap and water. I did this because of the next modification, and that is we're going to paint the case. To paint the case, I will use a two colors, light purple mate and midnight purple mate. But before I start, first using a tape, I will cover some parts, like some buttons, the logo and the trackpad. Well, now first I start with a midnight purple spray. Now I use tape again to protect the case around the trackpad. And after this, I move on the light purple spray. First, I paint the trackpad. I did this because I want some contrast between the colors. Also, using a light purple spray, I paint a small panel with the buttons and I paint the display bezel. Well, the case is looking a little bit better and now let's move on the keyboard. While I work on this laptop, I was in search for the keyboard. Actually, nowadays it's pretty hard to find some good keyboard for this model, but it's not impossible. And fortunately, I found a used 
fully functional keyboard for this model, for a very cheap. But a keyboard is a little bit dirty, and simply I cannot place it like this on the laptop. So first, I start with cleaning the keyboard. To clean the keyboard, I use brush, cotton buds and 96% isopropyl alcohol. Also here, I must say a warning. The keyboards are very sensitive to any kind of liquids. So, if you're going to clean some keyboard, be extremely careful. Because even a few drops of any kind of liquid may damage the entire keyboard. And most is recommended to use dry cleaning. The alcohol I'm using to clean the keycaps from the outside only. Well, after I finished with the cleaning, from the old keyboard, I took the plastic sticker from the flex cable. Actually, without this plastic sticker, I cannot connect the keyboard on the motherboard. Well, basically everything is done here, and now we can move on assembling the laptop. Well, before I place the last screws, now we're gonna make some upgrades. The first upgrade on the list is the CPU. Instead of using a 1.3 GHz Intel Celeron, I will upgrade to 2.0 GHz Intel Pentium CPU. This will boost the performance to almost double, because this Intel Pentium CPU is twice better than the previous Intel Celeron CPU. 
Well, the next upgrade is the RAM. Instead of 256 megabytes, I will upgrade to 1.5 gigs. I mean 1 gigabyte and 512 megabytes. Actually, I think this model will support 2 gigs, but this is the best what I have now. And the last component is the hard disk. And as hard disk, I will use 100 gigs ID disk. The previous disk that was on the laptop has a larger capacity, but unfortunately is locked and damaged. So basically it is not working. However, 100 gigs it's perfect for this laptop. Well, after everything is done, I check everything again and I continue with installing the legendary Windows XP. And after all changes, this is the final result. Well, now let's move on Windows and some games. Because this is a pretty old laptop, we cannot expect a lot. But generally, this is a great time machine. The Windows XP is working pretty fine and everything is fully functional. This laptop can be used as media center, doing some basic things and the most important, to play some old and great games. And the first game on the list is Serious Sam. This is a serious rush and gun game, full of challenges. The levels can be extremely hard, it is fun to play and full of adventures. And personally, for me, the Windows XP won't be complete without this game. The Serious Sam on this laptop is running very well, using high graphics and without any problems. The next game on the list is Delta Force. Delta Force is an older game. It's released in 1998, but it's perfect for laptops like this one. Delta Force also is one of the first war simulation games. It is very fun to play, but also this is a very difficult game to play. The Delta Force on this hardware is running perfectly smooth and without any problem. Well, the third game on the list is Quake 3 Arena. The Quake 3 Arena is an older multiplayer based game. And this is a fast game. Everything that happens in game is very fast. And this is one of my favorite games. And one of the hardest games that I played. But playing this game on older hardware like this one is a special experience.
Well, now let's move on some different games. The next game that I test on this laptop is Cossack's European Wars. This is a historical strategy game, based on events from 16 to 18 centuries. This is also a great and fun game to play. In this game, you can play some events or start with building your kingdom or empire. The game graphics are looking pretty good even today. The Cossacks on this laptop is running perfectly smooth and without any problems. Well, the next game that I tested on this laptop is Sudden Strike 1. The Sudden Strike 1 is placed in World War II. And this is one of the hardest strategy games that I ever played. To finish one stage or mission may take even hours. The game graphics are still pretty good and this game is running great on this laptop. Well, now let's move to something different. And the next game on the list is GTA Vice City. When we talk about a Windows XP based computer, I cannot miss this game. The GTA Vice City actually is released in the Windows XP era. And the GTA Vice City on this laptop is running pretty fine, even I used a higher settings. And the last game on the list is Cadillac and Dinosaurus. This is one of the most iconic games that we play on the older hardware. And I cannot skip this game when you talk about a Windows XP based computer. And basically this laptop is perfect for games like this one. Well, and this is all about this laptop. This is an old laptop, but still good as media center and playing some old but great games. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give an idea and inspiration to back some old tech in function again. Also, if you want to support me to grow this channel, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.